People of Ohio elected John Kasich. They made his wife Karen first lady. And after eight years of philanthropy and opportunity, and with just days left to serve in that role, she spoke with anchor Kristen Hartman at the governor's residence near Columbus. This is your favorite room. So this is my favorite room because of all of the history. Through the years, the governor's study has been a bright minds magnet. First Lady Karen Kasich loves the room. Mm -hmm. If you look here, mm -hmm. you can see Ted Kennedy. Oh, wow. Ronald Reagan and Martin Luther King were there, too. The Kasichs didn't live in the official residence. They stayed in their own house to keep things as normal as possible for their growing girls. They seem to have turned out pretty normal kids. Um, I think that that personally, I'm proud of that. Can you believe the eight years have come and gone? Eight years have gone so fast. Yeah. It's hard to believe that my children were nine when my husband started running for governor and they are now freshmen in college. These pictures, highlights from two terms of service to the state. They show the first lady reading to kids, empowering women and tackling the infant mortality rate, something so important to Cincinnati. What I hope I achieved is helping to build awareness that this is a problem and then what we can do to solve it. What are some of the things that you were able to see or do that you might not ordinarily have been able to do? Hands down, number one, mm -hmm. throwing out the first pitch in Great American Ballpark and having Johnny Bench in the house to catch for me. That is awesome. I, I took lessons. I, she also shared fun pics with the governor. Oh, That's stay fair. Beating my husband on the giant slide at the state <laughs> fair. He's way back there. He's way back there. And we talked about the more serious side of politics. What's the legacy? Well, I'd like to think that we tried to include everyone and that we weren't too political of a platform. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to think that we made opportunities for all Ohioans and not just for those of the Republican Party. Mr. Kasich told me the same thing, and that hasn't been just an Ohio ambition. This is the presidential campaign. The picture is from the Kasich's 2016 White House run. Do you see a 2020 run? anywhere in the equation, perhaps? Oh goodness, I, who knows? You know, people <laughs> like to ask me that question all the time. I'm and sure they do. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was surprised when he ran for governor. So, you know, he could surprise me again and, and, and run for something else. She says service to Ohio will always be part of their lives, but for now, the slate is clearing. You said we're your last official business. You are. Wow. The end. <laughs> <laughs> And I loved her giggle at the end. As for what's next immediately, Mrs. Kasich told me she hopes to travel a little more. It's a major transition time for them for sure. The Kasichs became empty nesters as their daughters went off to college and eight years in office are, as you know, coming to a close. But Governor Kasich promised to talk about the plans he has in the making and soon and certainly because they're a team that impacts her too. It does, and if he mm -hmm. surprises her with this again, that might not make her very happy, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's travel in that equation, yeah, if that's the case. Sure yeah. Absolutely. If you'd like to look at that story again and also her interview with Governor Kasich, go to WCPO.com. Thanks, Kristen. Thank you. Here's